more and more companies are converting their traditional development process to a more modern model-based development process. The traditional development process is often characterized by the sequential processing of development tasks. For example, first the mechanics, then the hydraulics, and finally the control technology. In addition, development results are only brought together at a late point in the product development process, namely during commissioning. Here, for example, the cabling or the HMI is tested for the first time in combination with other functionalities. This approach harbors risks, especially if there are delays in engineering or production. Deadlines are exceeded and commissioning is squeezed in before the delivery, which is fixed at a time. In contrast to the traditional development process, the model-based development process works across domains meaning the requirements are determined model or system-based and no longer for each domain individually. As a result, the various technical domains, such as mechanics, hydraulics, electrics, electronics, and software, are married to one another at an early stage and go through the engineering in parallel and in close coordination. The model-based development creates a digital twin of the machine, which makes it possible to carry out a large part of the integration work before real commissioning by performing virtual commissioning. Errors can be identified at an early stage and eliminated at low cost. Many functions can be tested virtually without danger. The result is the time saved to meet deadlines. The VEL, Fluidon's Virtual Engineering Lab, serves as a driver for model-based work. On the one hand, the VEL supports digital twin modeling through the integration of simulation models of any origin, thanks to the FMU standard, the coupling of models to an overall model, for example, coupling of mechanics and hydraulics. And the overall model is very important for understanding the overall machine behavior. On the other hand, the VEL also supports the application of the digital twin for example, through real-time simulation and real-time visualization, and in the loop simulations to integrate control software and hardware. With the help of the VEL, the traditional, fractional, and isolated development is transformed into a holistic, integrated, and interconnected development. The virtual engineering lab consists of three components, orchestrator, real-time simulator, and hardware in the loop setup. The orchestrator organizes the simulation workflows and handles the coupled models. The real-time simulator is a powerful computer that calculates these models in real time and also depicts the physical effects like dynamics, pulsation, vibrations, and so on. The hardware in the loop setup has an individual adaptable I.O. terminal architecture that enables the connection of any customer hardware, in this case, a mobile control device. Orchestrator, real-time simulator, and hardware in the loop setup are connected to each other via EtherCAD and exchange data in real time. The following video series demonstrates the model-based engineering approach with the VEL using a practical example, the development of a hydraulic excavator.